All right, so we know that there's fixed costs, we know there's variable costs, we know that in reality, anything that you tend to produce, any service you provide, is probably going to have some mixed costs, right? And in real life, what you know is your total costs, but to make good decisions, you may need to know, well, how much is fixed, how much is variable? And that's the big issue. How do we calculate that? All right. So typically what we do is try to draw a line, right? Because a line will tell us an intercept, right? The intercept is the fixed cost and the slope is the variable cost, right? So if we can take all the data that we have and use it to draw a line, I can figure out uh, how much is fixed, how much is variable. So we're going to remind ourselves of the equation for a line. Um, in our cost accounting world, y is total cost. All right. So y is total cost, which is what we want to know, right? It's our dependent variable. y is total cost, f fixed costs, or the intercept on the y-axis. Right? So remember that line that goes straight across from the y-axis on no matter how many units we produce on the x-axis? That's our intercept. So when we estimate costs using our data, uh, fixed costs will be our intercept. V is the slope of the line. So in our examples, um, we say, okay, our variable cost per unit is $3. Our variable cost per unit is $5, whatever. Well, that's our slope, right? For every additional unit on the x-axis, we're going to end up with a, an increase on the y-axis of v, variable cost. And x, of course, is how many units we produce, or a non-unit measure like number of material moves, hours used by the machine. All right, so the first quantitative method we're going to talk about is the high-low method. And um, you might want to look at page 90 in your book. I believe is where they talk about high-low method. Um, so you can imagine that you have a bunch of data points. Um, here, let me skip ahead a couple down here. You have a bunch of data points, right? I know my cost, I know my number of moves, right? Um, so I've got data points for that. I can turn those into a line. Uh, I don't even have to go that far, right? I don't even have to plot them. I don't have to do a regression. I could just do the high-low method. It's in your book. I would expect you to know how to do it. But basically, um, you're going to take the two points, right, the high and the low. So the cost, the high point of the cost and the low point of the cost, the high point of the activity and the low point of the activity. And you can figure out you've got that would give you two points so you could draw a line right that's all you need two points to draw a line so you use those two points and you draw a line the slopes the variable rate the intercept is the fixed cost so that's one method of drawing a line is just take your high low it's shown in the book it's pretty simple um, that tells you intercept for the fixed slope for the variable all right next scatter plot method so we have a bunch of data points and we just plot them on the XY and we kind of eyeball it. That's a scatter plot. Uh, the intercept is the fixed. This, uh, and, well, okay, I'll probably keep repeating this, but um, what we're doing is drawing lines, estimating lines based on our data. So we could use the high low methods, we don't even have to really draw it, we just subtract and come up with the de with the intercept uh, for the fixed and the slope for the cost. Um, or we could take a scatter plot method where we actually draw them out and uh, do it. So here's our example. We've got this is our cost, this is our total cost, the y-axis. Here's the number of moves, our x-axis, right? So. Here's my yx, yx, yx. So I can take that yx, right, and plot it, right? So here it is, right? So here's my scatter plot. And we call that a scatter plot um, simply because that's what it looks like, right? We've scattered the data on the x, along the x and y, and 
here you go. So when you make about 100 units, it costs you about 2000 When you make about uh, 300, it costs you about 6000 So we're looking at that and we say, okay, well, where's the best line, right? So uh, one thing you could do is just kind of eyeball that in there, right? Um, if you use high-low, you've estimated that. You can draw it in. Um, so here's your intercept. Right here's here's your intercept. Right here's your slope, whatever this number is. Right, and if you had two points, found two points using the high-low method, you could just draw that in. Right. Uh, here is another line. So we got slightly different slope. Somebody's eyeballed it in. Um, you know. That, all valid ways of estimating costs, right? High-low method, scatter plot, draw your best line. Um, but all of them are, these are kind of, we're assuming, we're assuming this is linear, right? So we're trying to draw our best line. Now, in theory, you could have a curve or something that's non-linear, right? So, and so, that's great. Uh, we could we could easily figure out a cost function for that curve using calculus. I'm not going to make you do that. Um, so we're not going to really worry about nonlinear cost functions, but of course, obviously they exist. That's what calculus is for. Um, so if you were to see a scatter plot that looked like that, then you would know. Okay, well that's a nonlinear cost function, and hey, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, we might need to do least squares. I mean, obviously, if you want to get the very best line, right, uh, you would draw it in using least squares. All right? So that means the lowest square of the deviations. So what does that mean? Well, you'd use a computer or Excel or something to do it. And it's going to consider all the possible lines, and it's drawing the one that has the lowest deviation. Right? In other words, where all the points are closest to the line. All right? So this is the best possible line. It has the least deviation. So this is your best line. Um, it has an intercept here, and this is the slope. Right? So that would be hard for you and I to do, so what we do is we let the um, computer do it. So we set it up in um, Excel. You don't have to do this, all right? But you would set it up in Excel. Here's my cost, here's my moves, and then you would use, if you ever want to do this, here's how you would do it. You go to Tools, Data Analysis, Regression. You'd select cost for your x for your y range and your drivers for your x range and then you click OK and it calculates it and you're going to get your regression analysis all right so this has drawn the best line it has the least deviation right all the the dots are the closest to the line as you can make them all right so that's where I'm going to stop right now um, we're going to pick up with our next video um, and talk more about regressions.